Welcome to Understand. This is Jordan with SciTools. In this video, we're going to go over our new Understand extension for Visual Studio Code and see how these two tools, when used in tandem, can create a powerhouse for code comprehension. Using this plugin, you'll be able to see your static analysis results from Understand directly inside Visual Studio Code without having to skip a beat. So here I have the FastGrep sample project open already, and it's configured to work with the um, understand extension. One of the most useful features this plugin provides is the ability to peek at or go directly to references within your source code. This can be specified to the entity's definition, declaration, implementations, or all its references can be pulled up at once. This allows you to seamlessly navigate around references using a convenient sidebar with the ability to dismiss them just as quickly. So here we have a, an object called has width. And if you see, if we right click it, we can go directly to the definition or the declaration, go to the references, or we can peek at all these things. So we don't have to leave where we are in the current source code. And you'll see if we peek at the references, it'll open all of the references and we can navigate around them just by clicking and get a preview of where they are <clears throat> within our source code and then we can dismiss it with an X. Note that we can also link directly from VS Code to understand if you want to see graphs or information browser details. All we have to do is go up to the light bulb once we have an object selected and select explore and understand. Another useful feature of this plugin is the ability to view hover information. So we can use this to see types of objects, functions, parameters, classes, type aliases, etc or to see the values of objects if they have one, and values of macros and other entities as well. So if we just hover over has width, the macro that we were just looking at, we can see that it actually has a value of one, right? We can also hover over functions as well. So um, if we hover over reg branch, we can see that its return value is a character pointer, um, and it takes one parameter, which is a integer pointer. So being able to see types is really helpful, um, but we can also view analysis errors and warnings from pre-processing and compiling with the understand extension, as well as code check violations. So code check violations and warnings will show up in the bottom left here. They can be selected and it'll appear under problems. Code check violations will be categorized as warnings. Um, and here we can quickly ignore violations, fix them, or view their detailed descriptions all from the editor, file explorer sidebar, or the problems panel. Um, so if we want to filter our violations, let's filter by recommended zero zero, which is when a comment appears to contain source code. Um, so from here we can double click that and it'll bring us to the exact file where it sees the violation there will be a squiggly line where the code check violation is appearing. And if we hover over it, we can see the detailed description as a pop-up. And lastly, all of this is possible because the extension's ability to quickly and automatically analyze your code. So as long as there is a .und file somewhere in the workspace, the extension should start and your source will automatically be analyzed on save of any file. If you'd like, commands can also be configured within VS Code to analyze your files manually. Okay, now let's get into how to set this extension up. First, you'll need to install Understand, which comes with uServer, the Understand language server. Then on Windows, you're gonna add the path to uServer, which should be in your program files um, to the system path, if this hasn't already been done during the installation of Understand. On Linux and Mac, you'll need to create a symlink between your path to uServer and the user slash bin or user slash local slash bin directory. Um, so I am on Mac. And so my my command looks somewhat like this, but a full guide that includes the necessary commands and paths will be linked down below in the description of this video. And you can just follow along to set it up as well. So next we just need to open Visual Studio Code, which we've done and install understand for Visual Studio Code. So there are several ways to install the extension, but the easiest in my opinion is to install it in the VS Code GUI uh, with the marketplace. So we're gonna simply open the extensions sidebar 
and we're going to search for scitools.understand. And then once you see this pop up, you'll install it. Okay, so how do we set up a project? Well, we first need to create an understand project using at least one source code file, which will result in a .und folder. So that's where I've gotten this fast grip custom.und folder. I'll also leave a link to a video on new project creation down below as well. So then if you want to see code check violations in VS Code, we need to actually set up a configuration and set it to run in the background. So if I open my project in understand, this is the same exact project open in understand. We can see that it has 128 violations, which we could also see in VS Code um, because it's pulling in real time. And, uh, and so what I did to set this up was I went to, I opened code check and I went to my uh, code check selection. And once you've selected all of the checks that you want, make sure that this option to run the in the background after analysis is selected, save your configuration. And then once you go over to Visual Studio Code, you should see you should see your uh, violations show up. Once you've opened a folder or a workspace in VS Code that contains this .und folder, like I've done here, the extension should start automatically. So on the bottom status bar on the left, if you hover on the understand section, you can see that the extension has connected to uServer. One more note I'll leave you with is that we can open the command palette from the bottom left and we can type understand colon settings to pull up the extension settings. From here, we can do things like specify a different path to our use server executable right here, or we can change our server setting to verbose to debug any communication issues that we may be having between use server and understand. And these, uh, these communication issues will show up in output. So if you like what you're able to do with Understand in VS Code, I would suggest exploring your code in Understand for the full experience. On top of what you're able to do here in VS Code, you'll be able to generate and visualize custom graphs, discover how legacy code fits together, detect and fix issues early, gain insight with actionable metrics, and automate solutions with full API access. For more information on the VS Code extension or any other tool within Understand, you can visit support.scitools.com.